Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to use the row sampling transformation in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can use the row sampling transformation in SSIS. So row sampling transformation in SSIS is used if you want to get a subset of a data using the SSIS. So for example, if you have a table and which contains maybe 1 million records or maybe something like 5 million records and for testing of the data you need some small portion of the data then you can use the row sampling transformation and row sampling transformation can also be used to, for example in a lottery based system that for example you have 100,000 records and out of 100,000 records you need just random 10 records or just random 100 records then you can use the row sampling transformation and it will randomly select the small portion of the data out of the whole data. So let's jump to the demo. So in my SQL Server 2019 instance, I got an email table here and this table contains 1500 records. Okay. And now suppose I want to select random 100 records from this particular table. So I can use the row sampling transformation in that particular scenario. So I have created table email underscore sample and right now this table is empty. So I have written this script that it will check if the email underscore sample table will exist then it will drop the table and then it will recreate the email underscore sample table. So let me open the SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package which I will be using today. So I can just drag and drop the execute SQL task into the control flow window and I can call this task as clean staging table and then I can just right click and configure the execute SQL task. Under connection, I need to make a connection to the work database. So I already have a connection here that I will use. And under SQL statement, I can actually copy and paste this particular code from here. So th this will drop the email underscore sample table and it will recreate it. Okay. So I can just click on OK. OK. And now because I want to export the data, so I can use it data flow task. So I can just connect the execute SQL task with the data flow task and then I can configure the data flow task because I want to fetch the data from the SQL server table so we need to use the OLEDB source here so I can just drag and drop OLEDB source into the data flow task and then I can configure the OLEDB source under data access mode I will select SQL command and then I will use the select query that will select the data from the email table so I can copy this particular query from here paste it here and if you check these are the columns those will be fetched from the source table so I can click on OK and now I can use the row sampling transformation so I can write row here so this is the row sampling transformation so I can just drag and drop it into the data flow task and now I can connect the OLEDB source with the row sampling transformation and if you right click and edit the row sampling transformation so there are few options here number of rows so here you need to provide the number of rows those you want to randomly select from the source table so in my source table I have 1500 records but I want to randomly select maybe 100 records so I can provide a value 100 here and then there will be two output from this particular transformation sampling selected output and sampling unselected output so whatever value 100 I have provided here these records will come inside this particular output sampling selected output and the rest of the rows from the source table they will come inside the sampling unselected output so I think this is fine and now there is an option here use the following random seed so if you click on this particular checkbox then what will happen then every time when you will execute the SSIS package same number of records will be returned into the sample selected output so ideally we should uncheck this particular option if you want to randomly select the data every time so I can click on OK here and now because I want to insert the data to a SQL server table so we can use the OLEDB destination here so I can just drag and drop the OLEDB destination into the data flow task and then I can connect the row sampling transformation with the OLEDB destination from the output I will select sampling selected output and I can click on OK and then I can right click and configure the OLEDB destination from the name of the table or view I will select the email underscore sample table this one and I can check the mapping so all input columns have been mapped with the destination column so this is good I can click on OK so our SSIS package is ready to be run and I can just click on start button so it should fetch the data all data from the source table and it should insert only the 100 records so you can see that it selected 1500 records from the source table from the email table 
and then after the row sampling transformation it has inserted the 100 random records to the email underscore sample table so if you go back to the SSMS and if you select the data from the email underscore sample table so you can see that these are the random 100 records that it selected here yeah so I think this is how you can just get a subset of the data from the whole data so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.